Right then folks, welcome to the beautiful Holcroft Fishery where I'm on a sneaky little two day festival. So catch more media and on the flyer TV with the prizes generously donated by Mozilla. Um, I can't wait for it folks, I'm proper, proper looking forward to it. It's been right cold overnight, a little bit of a frost, um, but it's, it's my style of fishing, I love it. I haven't got a clue how I've drawn, I'm on peg 14 on Moat Inner, Inner Island. Apparently it's all right, but then you speak to other people and it says, it's full of roach, you won't catch any skimmers there, so who knows what's going to happen. Uh, that was a cormorant gone. Um, so there's carps are counting a pound in this. I think carps will still be feeding, even though it's gone cold at night time. Uh, I think the carps will play a, port, uh, play a part rather. Uh, but it's some skimmers that we need to get stuck into. So we're fishing half 10 till half three. So I'd imagine like two o'clock onwards, it's going to be get ready time. Tactics for the day, I can't possibly tell you because you go and see another people in Gaz might, you know what I mean? It should be on my side, but I know what it's like, you know what I mean? So tactics for today then, what we're going to do? Well, I'm going to have two swims long and I'm going to have two swims short. So I'm going to do what the norm, uh, what's been is chopping loads of worms up in little tiny nuggets of ground bait out long on one side. And then I'm going to go up to like 14 metres uh, again on the long swim and put like a few micros in, fish expanders on that because it's skimmers that we're after. But the short line, I'm hoping that's going to come good. I'm going to completely fill it in like six, seven, eight poles of like really over wet ground bait on one side. Um, and then I'm just going to fish pellets on the other side. So fingers crossed we'll catch loads of skimmers, catch 83 pound of them, win the match and uh, bring home loads of beer tokens. Yeah! Hi, uh, I'm Rob Swan um, and we're here for the two day festival at Hallcroft run by On The Fly TV and Catch More Media. There's an absolutely star-studded lineup. I um, feel about a place, to be honest. There's a bunch of cracking anglers. Uh, I'm not going to name them all, but if you've seen them, you'd be shocked by the amount of good anglers for only a 27 pegger. It's day one, and I've drawn peg 61 on Moat Island. I've literally never, I've fished this venue once, tell a lie. I've fished it once for carp, but never for silvers. So I'm coming in a little bit blind. I've had some good info off a few friendly faces. So that's always great. So yeah, 61 on Moat Island. Doesn't really mean much to me. It looks lovely. Um, I'm on the air, I'm on the aerator, so hopefully there'll be a stack of bream there waiting for me. Uh, but other than that, I've not really got much to say about the peg. Fingers crossed, I'm going to keep it simple, fish two lines long, one negative, one positive, and then throw some casters short for, for hopefully some big bream. Um, thanks to Marcella for sponsoring the event. It's going to be a brilliant two days, and fingers crossed we all empty it. And uh, yeah, you'll see after to see for the results.
Uh, hi, my name's Steve Reed. Um, so, I um, was lucky enough to win the match yesterday. Uh, I had a lovely day. I was on 49, so sort of opposite, about six pegs down. Um, I think I ended up with £42.7, which was £41.7 as skimmers. And then I had one cart for a pound as well on top, which thankfully for me, it was, uh, it was enough to win the match. So a lovely start to the festival. As, as I've won the match, but it's been quite a difficult day in my head. Um, I've caught in a little burst. So knowing that a lot of these regulars are gonna fish Bloodworm and Joker, I imagined, um, I didn't think I could compete with them. So I've just had a simple approach of pellets, long and then ground bait and maggot short. So I've started long on pellets and I've caught um, in little bursts, but the stamp has been quite good. Um, so that was a nice sort of start to the match. And then the middle has been really difficult. Just had to try and catch an odd fish here and there. Um, but thankfully for me, um, after about three hours, I've seen a few bubbles come up on my short line. And when I've gone in on it, I've had a nice run. I probably had about 12 proper lads at the end. So uh, that's topped my weight up. And I think that's been the difference between my sort of like, or oh, the second place. And I've just had a little bit more, which has been nice. So uh, hopefully <laughs> have some of the same today, but we'll see. Hi, my name's Dean Jakes. I'm sponsored by New Fish and Fish for Browning Team Osset. Uh, I drew peg 26 on bridge out yesterday and had 122 fish ranging skimmers, perch and, and some roach for 37.2. And that's lucky enough to win section and come second in the match. Uh, started off, I had a steady run, just catching small sort of four to six ounce skimmers, uh, steady for three, two to three hours long. And then I've come short and then rotated short and long. And then as the day's got on, stamps got a bit bigger. I've had a few bream, uh, a bonus perch and an hide, and then some small skimmers towards the end. And just to finish it off, I've drawn 75 moat outer today. Um, got a bit of a section of doom. There's a fair few good anglers in the section, but hopefully we'll catch a few. Um, I reckon you're going to need 30 pound plus to win section. So hopefully if we start long and then finish short for some bream with wind blowing in, hopefully a few big ones turn up later on. Hi, I'm Oliver Scott on. I fish for Barnsley Blacks, uh, Brennan Barnsley Blacks. I'm sponsored by Alken Hunt and Vandenine. I drew peg 17 on Moat Island yesterday. A lovely day's fishing, catching little skimmers and odd big un. Um, did manage to nick a late carp for a pound as well. I weighed um, 34.9 and I managed to win my section by 10 ounces. Dead easy days fishing really. I had two lines at 13 metres, which I rotated for the first um, four hours, just catching odd little skimmers. Probably had 40 little skimmers in the first four hours doing that. And then um, I come short with an hour to go and caught probably eight big ones in a carp, which obviously boosted your weight up. Then, then bigger fish where you catch short late on. Uh, like you're almost your game changing fish what can bring you from last to first because um, i think last in section was 25 pound and obviously first 34 so them few late fish there's obviously makes a massive difference <laughs> um i've drawn peg 60 on moat outer today which is obviously in a big ball and um, it's not actually really pegged in our matches what we fish obviously I fish quite a lot of matches in the teams of four and things and they tend to stop around 50-ish, so it's a bit of an unknown really. I quite fancy, it looks nice, wind's nice, I can't really complain, it's just hopefully there's some bites to be had and then we can build his way up for that day.
Well, lads, I'll do the presentation for uh, the festival, if that's all right. So I'll start with the uh, I'll start with the section winners. Uh, section winners each day get um, <laughs> well done, well done. Congratulations. <laughs> section winners each day get um, hundred pound each. Obviously, everyone paid on to go via PayPal, so the main list prizes and sections are paid back to you via PayPal. Um, so section winners day one. Dean Jacks gets hundred quid with thirty-seven pound three. Ollie Scothorn had thirty-four nine gets hundred quid, and Steve Reed. Uh, won the match, he had 42-6, and he also gets 100 quid. So they day one section winners. Well done. Okay, day two section winners. Um, Jordan Holloway had £40.5, uh, Mark Turner had £45.5 and won the match, and Steve Barrowclough had 35 14 So I have got some Super Bowls to pay out for day two. Um, so third place first, um, he had a weight of 36.3, that was myself. Well done, yes. Second overall, I had a weight of £40.5, that was Jordan Holloway. And the winner today, fantastic weight, £45.5, Mark Turner. Well done, Marcus. Yes, thank you, Right, on to the main list. It's been very, very close. In fact, um, we've got prizes for the top eight. You needed eight points to get in, and it's actually a tie down to 11th place on points. So I'll read the top 11, and then we'll get to the top eight for the prizes. So 11th place on eight points with a weight of £54.8 was Andy Geldart. 10th place also on eight points with a weight of 54.14, Andy May. Just missing out with a weight of 56.14 on eight points was Steve Barraclough. And the last man in the frame, winning a 26-litre cool bag from Mozilla, with eight points and a weight of 59.1, Tom Noten. Hey. Well Tom. Seventh place, took Bridgepool apart yesterday. Six points, get, uh, six points this time, a weight of 62.9, getting the four-plus net bag. Dean Jacks. Thank you. And can the top eight, I don't, nobody shoot off, I want a quick photo with the top eight when I've, uh, I've done this. Sixth place overall, five points, a weight of 59.13, winning the eight piece set was myself. Well done. That's it. And that brings me on to the money places. Fifth place, picking up 160 quid. He's had five points and a weight of 59.13. Oliver Scothorn. Fourth place, and considering he's a relative stranger to Walcroft, he's had two brilliant matches. Picking up 200 quid, four points and a weight of 54.14. Warren Jennings. On to third place now, picking up 300 quid. He's had a weight of 64.10 with four points. Frannick. Okay, second place, four points again. Again, a, a relative strange, I've seen him here a few times, but uh, two exceptional performances. A weight of 78.3, Steve Reed. And the winner, this man's on fire at the moment. He's uh, tearing it up everywhere he goes. The only one on three points, picking up 500 quid, Jordan Holloway. So can I have the top eight for a photo, please? The Hallcroft Sawfish Festival is a great festival and I actually used the same tactics on both days. On day one I drew 23 on Mo Island I'm going to say and 
it was a bit of a slow start, but I ended up catching some small skimmers on a long pole, um, a few, few roach and little fish, few perch, sure, and then the little run of better ones on the long pole with maggots. And then on day two, pretty similar, but it took, I think it took an hour for me to get a bite on the long pole to begin with. Um, my long poles never really kicked in at all that day, but luckily in the last hour and a half, I caught really well on my short pole where I'd be really positive feeding lots of ground bait, lots of maggots and I caught a run of really good sized skimmers to weigh 40 pounds to just win the section on the second day so nice to win the festival. I ended up on three points and yeah, lovely festival.